Alrighty, I want to do a video of me doing my vanity area. Kind of like bringing some of my most used makeup from my organizer in my bedroom to in here. Because I got these new little drawer things here that I need to put stuff in now. I mean, they're not going to be able to fit like any huge makeup palette, but they'll be able to fit some of my smaller ones. And then I could put like my most used bigger ones in here. Got those off of Amazon. They're not stackable, but I made them stackable with little sticky things. See, I'm not holding the bottom, but they stick really well. I could have only fit three, but I would have had to push everything down. And I like the mirror being right in the middle. But also, stacking them, they would have fallen off the second Riker jumped off the table. They would have fallen. I just stuck them together. So it works. But yeah, that's what I want to do today. I want to move all of my most used makeup that I would use in an everyday setting in here. Free up some space in my organizer in my bedroom for more stuff. <laughs> I've got all my makeup brushes here. I have a problem with makeup brushes. I know I do. These are all like my eye and concealer makeup brushes. And then these are all my face makeup brushes. And then we have these. And then we got these. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I don't know why I have this weird obsession with makeup brushes, but I, I do. I can't help it. Um, all these little containers are makeup brushes as well. Can't help it. I have, I have more makeup brushes than I know what to do with. I want to finally get my vanity area all set up with some makeup over here and such and I'm very excited. Let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, we are gonna start taking stuff from here and putting it in my vanity. This way, this can be like the extra makeup I have. I think we are gonna start with my lip stuff because I have so much lip stuff, it's not even funny. It's, it's ridiculous how much lip stuff I have. And I don't even like lips. That's not like my favorite category, but I love lip gloss and lip oils can't stand matte lips at all but I love lip glosses and lip oils so let's go ahead and take this into the other bedroom and start organizing here comes my helper <laughs> what are you doing hi <laughs> be careful yeah be careful honey <laughs> all right let's get started I'm just gonna start up here. What I'm gonna do is just put in like my favorite lip stuff and then leave the ones I don't really use a lot. Really? I'm gonna put my favorites in the drawers. So I got this little just a clear gloss. I love this stuff. It really reminds me of the Forget the Filler Lawless Lip Plumper because it smooths out the lines in my lips so much. It's so great. I love that stuff. These are like my favorite glosses, like the shiny sparkly ones. It's Revlon. This one is my all time favorite lip gloss. So pretty. It gives like a really pretty blue shimmer. I love this stuff. And then don't forget the filler is awesome too. Another amazing one is this Juvia's Place one. It's so pretty. Flower Girl, I think. I don't know how many I'm going to be able to put in each one. And I don't want to take up every one for lip, if that makes sense. I'm not going to put all my lip products in here. It's just going to be the ones I use a lot. Now, this is a really good little lip product. It's from RMS. They're actually a really good brand that I really didn't know existed, but they're actually really good. There we go. I knew I was missing something and it was lighting. It's so much better. Let's keep going. That was actually a really nice one. Nice little nude neutral lip gloss. It's actually really nice. The packaging is really luxe feeling. Everything I've gotten from Il Maquillage was actually really good. And 
I know I said I don't like lipstick that much, but this thing is amazing. It's Juicy Plumping Lipstick, and it's so good and so pretty. It isn't really like lipstick. It's kind of satiny and like it says in the title, juicy. It really is. It's not matte at all, and it is really pretty red color. I'm going to try and put a variety in here and not just lip glosses even though I really do not like lipsticks. They're fine if you put like a lip gloss or lip oil on top of them. And sorry if it's really echoey in here. I do not have like anything on the walls in here. That's the next thing to do. So I apologize. It's actually really weird, but the texture and consistency really feels good on the lips. Like it's weird, but it does feel really nice on the lips. And then I got a Tom Ford little red lip gloss. Put that because it would be good with this little lipstick, red one, on top of it. Item Beauty lip oils, fantastic. Love those lip oils. This is a weird little Amazon purchase, but it's so cute. It like shifts colors and it does leave a little glitter on the lips. It goes to a really pretty pink. It's the weirdest stuff, but it's actually really nice. Another Touch and Soul. This is Touch and Soul too, but it's called Vegan again. But this is Touch and Soul. Juicy, glossy lip tint. Sure, why not? Let's put it over here. This stuff is really cute too. It's got some like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it to focus on it. But blue and silver glitters in there. It's really nice. I like this stuff. Put this little lipstick cream. It's got sparkles in it. It's really pretty. Put that there. Violet gloss, lip gloss is really pretty. My favorite things are lip glosses, definitely. Love my lip glosses. There we go. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm not gonna put any more. I think what I got in here right now is good. Yes, it does. Make sure there's nothing else I want to put in this one. This is one of those Jane. Iredale. It's actually a really pretty color. We'll put this in here. It's like another little lipstick that isn't like lipsticky. It's not matte. It doesn't feel really matte. And a little lip balm from Misho. Put that in there because that fits really well. <laughs> and then my item beauty. All right, we got two lips done. I'm gonna reorganize this and put it back. All right, this one has been organized again. Next, we're gonna do the eyeliners. We're just gonna do eyeliners and primers and stuff right now. Are you napping? Hi. Mm -hmm. Little cutie. Okay, let's go ahead and take out what we're not gonna deal with. Look at how pretty that is. It says Danessa Myricks infinite chrome flakes dude they're stunning but they just were so weird on the eye but i can't throw this away yet because it's still good i am gonna put the sharpeners with the eyeliner i'm gonna just put all my eyeliner in one because this is all i got i don't do liquid liner first of all i can't do a wing to save my damn life Second of all, I only tight line. I don't even put it on my water line. It transfers it, of course, but I have small eyes. And if I put, if I fully put liner on my water line, it makes my eyes look smaller. But when I put it on my tight line, it kind of does a lifted effect, especially when I wear my Lashify lashes. It kind of makes my eyes look a little bit like cat eye, like lifted. And I like that. We're going to put all of our eye primers in one. And then liners and sharpeners and another. This is one of my all-time favorite eyeliners, but they don't even make it anymore and it makes me very sad. It's the KVD Cake Pencil in Trooper Black. This stuff is amazing. I wish they didn't discontinue it because I love this eyeliner. It's fabulous. And then this eyeliner I got from Amazon and it's the most random Amazon purchase ever, but it's something called Lying Silkworm eye pin but i had no idea what that is but i, I googled it it's kind of like where you put it underneath your waterline and kind of brighten up or widen make your eyes look whiter but i use this as like an inner corner highlight it is and a brow bone highlight it is fabulous it is so stunning love this thing 
And the rest are just like black gel line eye pencils. I got a white one too, but I don't ever really use it, but I'm keeping it. It's the only one I got. And I got a couple of these duochrome ones from Danessa Myrix. Got them from Beauty Boxes. I think one was in a Trend Mood mystery box, and then the other was in a Ipsy. But yeah, they're really pretty. I have no idea when and where I'd use them, though. All right, eyeliners done. And then we're going to get the eyeshadow primer in one. Now let's go get the foundations concealers and okay and now we're going to go through all of my foundations primers concealers some brow stuff we're, st we're gonna see what we can fit in the small ones but if we need to go into the deeper ones we can maybe it's time to start taking them out of their boxes oh no uh, i don't know I don't, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I just like to keep everything in their boxes. It's so weird, I know. But I think it's time, because this is my most used foundation right here. It is fabulous. It's the Yenza Super Serum Silk Foundation. I love this stuff. It is amazing. I'm gonna keep concealers with concealers and foundations with foundations. I don't have a ton of foundations because I'm still very new to makeup and matching my skin tone. I'm just not good at it at all. We're gonna do concealers first and then foundation. I love all these concealers. They're all fantastic. The Item Beauty one is really good actually. The Yenza one is fantastic too. I guess we're gonna get rid of the boxes. I guess this is what I needed to get to make me get rid of boxes in the first place. Clearing up room, go me. Well, that fit all my concealers. I, like I said, I'm not as big on like face products as I am on like eyeshadow palettes and lip gloss. I love eyeshadow palettes. They're my favorite. But all my concealers fit in one. Yay. So far, so good. We're getting there. I'm so excited. I may have to take two drawers, which is fine. I was originally just going to put what I used every day in here, but because I only have not a lot of foundations, I figured it would just, you know, I'd just go ahead and put what I have in here in here. We're just going to put two and two. So we'll put, I'm just going to put the Yenza and the KVD by themselves. And then we'll put this other KVD Good Apple in the Estee Lauder. I think my Estee Lauder one is a little too light for me, but it's still a really good foundation. That Locket foundation is the thickest foundation I've ever felt in my life. <laughs> that's I think that's why I like the um, Yenza one nowadays is because it's not thick. It feels so light on the skin. Like, it is amazing. It's not thick at all, but that one feels like cake. And I, don't get me wrong, I used to love the super cakey foundation, but not so much anymore. Maybe one of these days I'm going to declutter that one, but I need to get more. And I just need to stop being so damn shy and ask to have like my skin tone matched and what shade would be perfect for me, but I'm just too damn shy. Ugh. I'm just too shy. I think I want to move the concealers down here with all my foundations and stuff. All my have all my face makeup kind of in the same general area and all of like my pencil products up here i think that's what we're gonna do we're gonna take everything out of the boxes look at me go again but i will tell you this right now i'm keeping the boxes on my eyeshadow palettes and my blushes and all that stuff 100 percent. not getting rid of the boxes on those i don't know why i like to keep the boxes on those but those are gonna go in here because I have more room and can fit more stuff in these. The eyeshadow palettes and stuff would not fit here. They'll probably fit some in here, maybe. <laughs> it's so weird getting rid of all the boxes because I've always just loved keeping everything in the boxes. I don't know why, but someone did say on one of my declutters that it would free up a lot of space. And I know they were 100% right, but whatever in my little brain is telling me that I needed to keep everything in the boxes told me I just need to keep everything in the box. But here we are. 
I'm making progress. And I have so many brow products and I don't even know how to do brows, but I think that's why I'm keeping all of my brow stuff is for the one day when I eventually learn how to do brows and I'll have stuff to do them with. Brows have been one of the hardest things to learn for me. I can do eyeshadow decently well. I can do my base decently well. It's just brows are another, they're foreign territory for me. I wish I could do brows because, you know, they say that brows shape the face and good brows, you know, but I just don't know how to do them, so I don't do them. I've got really good brow pencils for when I actually do attempt to learn. I'll have really good brow products to work with. Put those right here. Or do I want to put them? I think I want to put them right underneath my pencils so it kind of looks like it has some rhyme or reason to it. So I got lip gloss and then eyeliner and then brows and then eyeshadow primers and then concealers and foundations here. Next we're gonna go to primers and I may actually clear out this whole box which would be awesome. I love the Tatcha silk canvas but I got the mini. I bought the mini and then ended up getting a freebie because I spent a certain amount of money. So I gave my mom the freebie of the silk canvas. She loves it too, but that's why I have this elf one because I know it's kind of like a dupe. So I use that one more than that one so I can save this. I also really like this touch and soul one. It's really good too. I tried this elf power grip one. I know it's supposed to be a dupe for the milk makeup one, but it did not work with the Yenza foundation at all. I'm going to keep it around. Never tried this yet. I have it, but I've never tried it. And I haven't tried this Fenty one yet either. I cannot believe I just got rid of all those boxes. Now I'm like, oh my god. <laughs> okay, where do I want to put these? It's going to have to be in a bigger one. It may have to be two of them actually. Or maybe I take this and put my foundations and primers over here in this one. I know I'm going to have to have two uh, for these. are right beside each other. And then I'll put concealers will still be over here. But then I can put powder and everything else over here. So next I think we're gonna do powders. So we're getting there. I still have one completely empty and one almost empty, so I may have to spread some stuff out. We'll see. But look, I got rid of so many boxes and that definitely cleared up a lot of room. So if whoever that commented or whomever commented that said getting rid of all those boxes would clear up some room, you were right. I just cleaned out a whole entire box. So I'm very excited about that. Micro's excited too, even though he's very mad that I just woke him up because I moved all the boxes. <laughs> Are you mad? Yeah, I'm so sorry, honey. Are you mad because I woke you up? He wasn't even sleeping in here, but whenever he was like, oh, mommy's doing something in my bedroom, I'm going to go sleep in my pool floaty. So he came and slept in his pool floaty. He was sleeping in the living room. Oh, does that feel good, handsome? Oh, I think he likes that. <laughs> oh, you're so cute. Oh, that's a good boy. Yeah, that's a very cute little baby. Handsome kitty. Okay, let's keep going. If I stop, I'm not going to finish it. All right, and next we have powder, setting spray. This is kind of like a primer. But I don't know. I forgot it was in this box. It's a very pretty. We're going to keep that. I'm just going to take it out of the box. And we're going to stick it in here with the other primers. 
You know, I never understood setting sprays, but I tried the all-nighter one and I see what the hype is about now. The all-nighter setting spray is absolutely fantastic. It is amazing. Love it. So now we need to figure out how we're gonna lay all this out. I wonder if I can just put the rare beauty in there by itself and then fit everything else in the big one. Cause I'm gonna take them all out of their boxes. I know, I don't want to, but I am. I haven't even used this Laura Mercier one. I got it in a Ipsy. It's the Celestial Light Light Catcher one. It's kind of like the one that's got the sparkle in it. I do like the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. It is really good, but I've never tried that one yet. And I do really like this Kimchi one as well. It is fabulous. So, and the powder puff that it comes with is so freaking soft. It is an amazing powder puff that comes in that one. But I think my all-time favorite powder this one, this hourglass powder. I got it in like a little, I can't think, I think it was the Look Fantastic box. And this hourglass powder was in it and I fell in love. It's a phenomenal powder. I love it so much and it's lasted a really long time. So I think what we're gonna have to do is put the Rare Beauty in by itself and then put the flower, this is from Beauty Bakery, put that in one with the hourglass one by itself. Three of them are full, so now I just have this one. I may have to do some rearranging though, but I may put, I may take all this powder and stuff and put it over here so it keeps all of my base stuff over here. I was originally doing it like this, but now I think I need to put it here. So I'm gonna go do that real quick off camera and then go get the next. I think what we're gonna put is some eyeshadows. We're gonna go get some of my smaller eyeshadow palettes and put the smaller eyeshadow palettes in here. And maybe some smaller blush palettes, but we'll see. So let me do this off camera, let me rearrange everything and then we'll keep going. Next, we're gonna go through all of these and get out what I would consider my most used stuff. Eyeshadow palettes, if I can fit any of the smaller ones in any of these, I will, but We'll see. I moved all of my concealer, powders, and setting sprays over here. So now it's concealer, powder, setting spray, foundation, and primers over here. Six things open. So we're gonna see what we can fit out of here in there. I may just fit like the smaller things in here. Cause like the stuff I use the most, like this palette is gonna go in here cause it's not gonna be able to fit anywhere else. I may just start putting like these ones I use, I don't need this. But yeah, I use these the most. Probably gonna put all my Benefit, put my Pat McGrath stuff in here too. And I occasionally use that blush. And I think that's all I use really out of here. And then the smaller stuff, we'll see if we can fit it in here. I'm gonna take, I'm probably gonna leave the boxes on these though, like I said I would. <laughs> Sorry. That I'm probably gonna have to take out, but that's fine. That's a little cute highlighter. It's so cute. Huh. There we go. I'm doing this video in between my swatch videos. I take this out though. I forget I have a lot of stuff to be completely honest until, cause it's all the way at the bottom. I'm gonna put that in there so I know I have it. That one's done. Now we're gonna go through eyeshadow palettes and see what I can fit. Definitely putting my color pops in here. Probably gonna leave some of the bigger palettes in the actual box, like the bin. 
because I don't want to weigh these down too much with like a ton of stuff in them. But we can put these little bitty pallets in here. I don't know if that one will fit. It may not. Oh, it does. If I leave it like that, yeah. If I just make sure to hold it up down it fits. I do like that Il Maquillage quad, so that's going in there. But all these bigger palettes, I use the Volume 5 palette so much. I love it so freaking much, but I think I'm gonna leave the big ones in there and just keep the little ones in here. I do like the Huda palette, so I'm probably gonna leave these in here. I just don't want this to get weighed down so much that it, like, starts to mess up or anything like that you know i wonder if i could fit this with the other little maquillage in here but i don't know if it would fit this on top yeah it does awesome love the il maquillage palettes they are absolutely phenomenal the quality of those are just wonderful and the last one I'm gonna put my Juvia's place in here. I love my Juvia's place palettes. And then the blue I see from Glam Light. Love that. And then I think I'm gonna put my both my Ace Beauté palettes and then my Dose of Colors palette. It's really pretty. And my Wonder Beauty Sweet Escape. Mm -hmm. Busy Art can go in there. Little ones like this. I'm gonna get the Barbie palette and put it in one of the drawers. Keeping the boxes on all of these, even though they're huge. Let me just go ahead and put the other icy one in here. here so now they're not like too heavy or anything like that and then got these little bitty baby palettes will that fit and they have to go okay I can put this in the soft glam palette in there. That'll work. Okay, well, now we're done. We got it done. Looky, look. Oh, I love it. Foundations. Foundation. Primer. Primer. Setting spray. Powder, powder, powder. Concealer, lip, eyeliner, brow, eye primer, blush, and highlight. Blush and highlight. Palette, 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 palette. Oh, I'm so excited. And then blush, highlight, bronzer. Palettes and palettes. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> I have a vanity area now. <laughs> oh, I love it. Now I just gotta figure out something to put down here. I don't know, maybe I put a couple eyeshadow palettes down there just to kind of fill it in for now. Like some of the bigger ones, like maybe these two can just kind of be like display items or something for the time being. If you have any ideas or recommendations, go ahead and throw them in the comments. But for now, I just may put them there. I'm just gonna keep my bigger palettes in here, even though I like to use the ABH Volume 5 a lot. But now I have so much more room. <laughs> but yeah, 
I love it. I think it's so cute. But yeah, if you have any recommendations of what to put here, go ahead and let me know in the comments because it would be greatly appreciated. What are you doing, dude? What are you doing? Huh? Hi. Weirdo. Where are you going? Hmm? He's a handsome little kitty. Yeah. You a handsome kitty? Doing. Hello, beautiful. You coming down? Oh, I always get nervous whenever he jumps down that something's gonna shake and fall. That is this video. Thanks for hanging out with me while I organized my vanity area. I love it. Now the next thing is to get decor on the wall so it's not so echoey. If you like this type of content, I would love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe. I am here just doing this as a hobby. It's just fun for me and it gets me out of my shyness and out of my comfort zone because it's not stuff that I would actually like ever normally do. So that's why I'm here. It's just to have fun, post videos of what I like, and hang out with y'all. So if you like this type of stuff, I would love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe. Usually I have to hunt him down to find him to say goodbye, but he's already here. Him's already here. You're so cute. Can I touch the toe veins? <laughs> oh no. It's like, no toe beans. Can I pet the belly? He allows belly rubs once in a blue moon. Now I'm gonna go clean up. I'm going to show you my organizer one last time. Now that everything's done, I'm going to show you my little bins that I still have in my bedroom. Show you how clean and decluttered I got those. So hang on. If you forgot what this looked like before, just go to the very beginning. I cleared out two whole bins. Like that's awesome. I totally forgot about the single shadows, but there's no more room in there so the single shadows and like stick and liquid shadows are just gonna live in here hello i am so excited now that i have i have more room now for not that that's an excuse to go and get more stuff like from tj maxx or what have you or sephora or ulta it's not an excuse for me to go and like fill these bins up again no <laughs> I am trying to keep my makeup collection as small as possible. I do not want to get more organizers because this one has run out of room to hold anything. Let's say goodbye to the baby. Or let the baby say goodbye to YouTube. If you like this video, I would love it. We would love it if you like, comment, and subscribe. Because we do funny cat videos because Riker is a crazy kitty sometimes. And I like to do makeup and do makeup content whether it's swatching all of my eyeshadow palettes or doing my makeup or doing a diamond painting or unboxing ipsies i'm just here to have fun it's a hobby it's fun it gets me out of my comfort zone because i am so shy and one of these days maybe i'll do more videos of me actually on camera with my face showing you how i do my makeup or something like that. But as of right now, this will have to do because I'm still way too shy to be on camera all the time. <laughs> yeah, we would love it if you would like, comment, and subscribe. Riker, can you say bye, YouTube? Can you say bye? Yeah, he's so blink. You giving him pretty eyes. Pretty eyes. Hi. That was his bye, YouTube. His pretty eyes. His slow blink. We hope y'all have a good day. Bye, guys.